Hi there folks, it's Jonathan Denwood here from WP Tonic and in this video I'm going to be talking about Cadence WP. It's one of the best um, page or website WordPress builders out there. It's fabulous. At WP Tonic we've helped a load of clients build fantastic websites on Cadence WP. Got a load of information to give to you about it. Plus, this isn't sponsored by Cadence. There's no affiliate links here. It's a totally my opinion, my honest opinion on this WordPress technology based, like I say, page and website builder. I'll be back in a few moments, folks. coming back folks so in this video we're going to be talking about cadence and i think it's fab but it's not perfect um i think even though i like it i can give you a honest review on it and also some background information so you know how, where it fits in with some of the leading competition in the wordpress space now WordPress about six, seven years ago was really um, facing a problem. Basically, the native editor that enables you to edit posts, pages on a WordPress-powered website was really quite old and didn't really offer you a lot of flexibility. You, there were other solutions out there. Um, that were giving a more modern interface that allowed you to edit the content and build pages and build a whole website on WordPress, very similar to a couple of the SaaS main competitors out there like Squarespace or Wix. Um, but the company behind WordPress, um, Automatic, wanted a native solution um, and so they decided to build this and they called it Gutenberg. And it's been an ongoing process for the last seven years, in my opinion, too long. Um, and also they have built something that could really work quite well. And then they've moved, done a tremendous jump very suddenly. But the core of the technology is good. Where Cadence fits in is that they basically take the good parts of Gutenberg and they make it even better. And there's a number of companies in the WordPress space and Cadence WP is one of them and they've made it even better. And I think what they've done particularly is very impressive. Now, there's there are other solutions that enable you to build pages, edit them and build whole websites on WordPress that aren't um, Gutenberg based in their technology stack. To name a few of the most popular ones, the biggest one is Elementor that, um, that drives millions of WordPress websites. St I still like it. We offer that also at WP Tonic. If you host with us, um, it, like I say, it drives millions of websites. It is powerful. I personally think Kate, I think Gutenberg-based technologies are more attractive because they offer the ability of faster loading websites. People utilizing Elementor would disagree with me here, but I'm I'm talking based on my experience here of the the real world rather than optimize view of the world here um so that's one of the non gutenberg you've got divi divi's been around a number of years funny enough they're they're in a transit from moving away from their own solution to a solution that's also based on gutenberg technology You've got something like Breakdance or Oxygen, and then you've got a number of other um, page builder solutions that are not built on Gutenberg. 
Now, when it comes to Gutenberg, there's a number of other solutions that are competing in this Gutenberg space with Cadence WP. But like I say, I really like Cadence. Now, one, one of the problems with utilising Gutenberg without Cadence is that their header and footer um, mythologies are really janky, in my opinion, where one of the strengths of Cadence is that their mythology for building navigation is pretty straightforward. Also, they've got an extensive library of templates, starter themes that are really very good. Um, and at WP Tonic, for the membership creator community, we've built our own um, small library of themes based on Cadence ourselves. And there's a number of other third um, party vendors that are doing this, and they're, they're growing. It's not to the extent of Divi. Divi's still got a much larger community of third-party providers, but it's definitely grown in the cadence. Like, with non-cadence Gutenberg, there's this term banded around full-site editing. And what that means is that cadence still uses the kind of metaphor of a theme and it's a container and the bits um, that you can change are in this container. Now, when it comes to full site editing on Gutenberg, non-cadence, you can have the container or not have the container. You can build whatever you want. And that's great for somebody that's a professional developer, designer, but that can cause a tremendous degree of confusion and upset if you're just a um, just a business person trying to build your website DIY, or you've got some um, prior experience of Gut of WordPress, um, but not Gutenberg and full site editing. So I, what I think the way that Cadence has handled this is much more benefit for the average user. Other people would disagree with me on this, but that's my honest opinion. Now, they've also got fantastic integration with WooCommerce. Um, depending with which version of Cadence WP you buy, um, if you host with WP Tonic, you get the full professional version of Cadence that comes with the Woo commas add-on and it enables you to really build out um, e-commerce website using cadence wp pro with woocommerce and get some fabulous results well, obviously at wp tonic we specialize in membership and community websites and with some of the leading learning management systems on wordpress like um, Lifter LMS or Learn Dash, Cadence really works with these systems really fantastic. Now, also the way they've done it, and it does depend on the mixture of third party plugins that you're utilizing, the speed benefits, especially if you're with a decent hosting provider, of utilizing Cadence is very impressive. And when you do any kind of speed tests, you're going to get much better results than some of the other solutions that I've mentioned in this video, in my opinion. It does, there are a lot of variables to this, depending on what other plugins you're installing and some other factors about the way you've set up your website. But in general, I am very confident to make that statement that by utilising Cadence compared to some of the solutions I've mentioned, you're going, to get, you're going to get a much quicker loading website. Now, when it comes to actually Gutenberg, there's half a dozen other um, platforms that are built on, Word, on Gutenberg technology, and they're pretty good systems. 
Um, I particularly like what Cadence has done um, with how they've provided an easy way to build headers and footers, the WooCommerce, the very high standard of their themes, their starter websites that they provide, the ability of people like WP Tonic and other third-party providers to build third-party starter websites on their platform is well thought out and I can only see it grow. And also the pricing, if you're just looking for a one-site license, it's they do offer a free version. The free version, it's, it's adding block library. Um, it doesn't come with like the full um, spread of functionality that you would get if you pay for the pro. But what they provide in their free plugin that provides these extra blocks in the world of Gutenberg um, is really quite impressive what you're getting in the free product. But if you're really looking to utilize the real power of Cadence WP, I definitely think look at the next, the paid version. And I think it's around, it's below a hundred dollars. And then you can get the full version for slightly over a couple of hundred. And it's amazing value in my opinion. Like I say, if you host at WP Tonic, you can get the full version as part of our hosting package. I've written an article, you find the link in the description that goes, gives you all the links and gives you additional information about the strengths and weaknesses of Cadence. I think the weaknesses are minor compared to all the benefits that you get. Um, the link to this article will be in the video description. There will also be a link there to the WP Tonic website and you can book a chat with me. Or if you've got any other questions, you can always put them underneath the video and I will answer them. If you found this video useful, do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It really encourages me to make more of these videos. I'll see you soon, folks. Bye.